Hey guys, so here we are going to do a boiler install in a garage here, uh, mounted on the wall. And what I have done here is I have actually mounted, prefabbed everything, put it on the wall, um, and of course I've now marked all the holes. Um, these are all going to be ceiling plates for all the mounting uh, uh, hangers for the piping. Um, and then of course these holes here um, are going to be where my junction boxes are going to be tied in. And we're going to be running uh, cables through this template here is going to be the boiler um, and we're going to run our cables up through here uh, this will be for our condensate line so we can hide everything behind here and give it a really really clean look and you can see over here we have um, the the snow melt system pipes and then these two pipes are for the two heating loops the supply and the return so it doesn't look very impressive now but I'll show you once we take everything off uh, and you get to see behind the wall and where all the wires are going to be. So we'll probably do that next and I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back guys. Um, as promised, I have given you a good mess, a whole mess of wires uh, and pipes behind this wall. But this is why I did this this way. Um, it's a whole tanglement. Um, they're all color coded as you can see. For wherever I'm going to put them uh, so it helps my mental map like these are all going to be our system pumps for all uh, all our zones right um, and then of course up there is going to be for a few accessories down here is going to be for a few uh, accessories as well um, this is going to be our control wires to our junction box that's going to handle all our control systems and then of course here is all of the wires going to the boiler itself as well as the condensate uh, line that we're putting in as well and of course they're all color coded as well as you can see um, so like I say it uh, it's a bit confusing but that was the nice thing about it when this boiler system uh, is finally put back on the wall you'll understand why I did it this way because it Let's face it, it doesn't matter what type of mess is behind here, you know, as long as it's done correctly to code and, and everything is fine, um, you know, it, it just cleans things up so much. Now, granted, you can use Conduit um, or BX or whatever, uh, and you can still make it look good. I just wanted to give it an extra clean look by hiding all the wires behind the wall. Um, and uh, I think you guys will appreciate it once it's done. Uh, you can see here, here's all the snow melt system wires, or sorry, um, piping uh, for the return and supply up there. And like I say, this wall is not structural. Um, so it is actually, uh, I can drill as many holes as I want or cut as many things into it I want, um, but it was more so meant to hide everything. Um, and of course our snow melt system there. This is actually um, something new. I'm actually going to heat the wall uh, in this particular system and that's why I put the reflective insulation on it so that it's going to bounce back and heat the walls um, in this room uh, for this one and this one here um, for this garage. We'll see how it works. Um, I have high hopes for it, but uh, like I say, it's kind of an experiment, but also uh, I don't see why it can't work, at least give a good perimeter heat. Um, and of course, this will be at a much different temperature than this. But the nice thing about this pipe, this is the rehaw pipe that has writings up to 180, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So it's designed for high temp hydronics. And of course, it's got a oxygen barrier as well. Um, and of course, you can see up there, right there, these two pipes that are going over here and coming down. This is for the high temp rads. It's gonna heat the bonus room um, above the garage there. And like I say, I'll, I've shown you that in another earlier video um, with the Amanti electric fireplace, and that's where they're going to be heating as well. So like I say, big mess, but I wanted to show you what this looks like, and I think you'll be surprised what it looks like in the end. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back, guys. You can see now... The laminate has been adhered to the plywood and uh, actually turned out really nice. It's going to give a lot nicer finish, um, especially as a really good background for the piping and the boiler system. You can see here I pre-drilled holes for all the hangers, so it should go on pretty easily and pretty smoothly. I might have to make some small tweaks here and there, but um, yeah, hopefully it'll go 
fairly decently. So what I'll do is I'll do a, a time lapse for you guys so you can enjoy the build of the boiler.